one of the things we want to do on this on this truck is improve capability, both towing and payload. And the suspension and the chassis play an important role in that endeavor. The all new Ram 1500 has the smartest frame in the segment, which includes a 23 degree splayed railed system out in front of the truck. That is unique in the segment. The all new frame is longer by four inches wider, yet 100 pounds lighter. It's made up of 98% advanced high strength steel and high strength steel. We moved the stay bar behind the engine and that gave us 20% improvement in roll stiffness. We did a lot of light weighting on the suspension. Aluminum front control arms, we do aluminum front knuckles, we did hollow front stay bars, hollow rear stay bars, the front lower control arm cross member and the transmission cross member. All of which was to save weight and improve the fuel economy of the vehicle and and give us the ride and handling that we were looking for. We worked with uh, our shock supplier and used their new patented, what's called frequency response damping shocks on this vehicle. What it does, it allows us to tune the shocks at two different frequencies. So the high frequency stuff or the rough road stuff, we could tune on with one part of the shock and the low frequency, uh, very large undulating type events, we could tune with another part of the shock. We're kind of excited about air suspension on the Ram 1500. We're the only truck in this segment that offers it. When you go to get in or out of the truck, it lowers a couple inches to allow you to easily get in and out of the truck. Once you start the truck and, and start moving, it moves back up to the normal ride height. When you get up above 35 miles an hour, the truck drops about 15 millimeters, and that's to provide fuel economy improvements when you're driving down the road because the truck is riding slightly lower. We already start an inch high on the Rebel trucks. Clearly the person buying the Rebel truck is someone that does like to go off-road, so that's one feature the air suspension provides the Rebel truck buyer. We took the base wheel of the Ram 1500, we increased it to 18 inches. That allowed us to fit a 14.9 inch rotor in the front and a 14.8 inch rotor in the rear to give us the largest brakes in the segment. In materials engineering, one of our fundamental approaches is the right material for the right application. And that worked out very well in a vehicle like the new Ram 1500, where attributes like durability and strength and those things are very important to the customer. If you think of steel in its most basic form, there's mild steel and it has a small amount of carbon and some alloy alloying materials. So what we want to do is something as important as the frame of a vehicle. It carries the weight of the vehicle, performs uh, an impact, needs to be durable as you're, you're hauling, you're going off-road. That's where we go to the high strength or the advanced high strength steels. They're very complicated materials with complex microstructure and chemistry um, tuned to the specific application so it gives you a specific performance. You, you get increased strength, but then you also get ductility, which is very important for things like uh, forming the parts as you're stamping, drawing. One great example where materials was involved is the front upper control arm and the suspension. Um, this is a, a hybrid design of the control arm that's unique from anything we've done before. It's basically a stamped steel structure that's overmolded with a structural plastic. Um, it allows benefits from the standpoint of good performance. It's a weight save over the traditional control arm. We used uh, splayed front frame rails and they're advanced high strength steel that is, um, it's tubular, and then it's formed over a mandrel, so you get a, you get a variation in the section, in the gauge thickness, and that gives you tailored performance and repeatable performance, both for uh, impact and for durability, and also helps you save weight there. As you progress to areas, say for example, um, fenders, doors, the roof panel, um, we use a variety of steel that's called bake hardened steel there. And what that does is it allows you to get increases in strength. Other examples would be in our door beams and our impact that we wouldn't be able to get with traditional forming operation, operations. And that allows us to have great impact protection, side impact protection for the occupants in the vehicle. Through the proper choice of materials, we were able to drop the overall weight of the vehicle 225 pounds. When we use these high strength steels and advanced high strength steels, they give you a performance that you need, the durability, the fatigue performance, the impact performance. 
with a thinner gauge material so subsequently you can take weight out compared to the old truck. Pretty proud to say that the cab of this vehicle behind me has 54% high string steel and the frame itself 98%. And through clever engineering, this is without a doubt the best frame in the pickup truck market. What's going on here is long-term durability testing of the new Ram 1500 pickup. On our road test simulator, where we recreate the vehicle's reactions that it would have if it were driving over rough road surfaces. How the new Ram 1500 deals with all of this abuse is high strength steel in its frame and body to improve its long-term durability. The five link suspension with progressive rate coil springs and new frequency response damping shock absorbers are dealing with all of that abuse that's coming at it from the road simulator. Hydraulic cab mounts are isolating and cushioning the driver and occupants from what's going on beneath them in there on the simulator. We record responses from vehicles that we drive on our proving grounds. We bring that data and vehicle back to the road simulator and we recreate the responses that we measured as we drove over our durability roads at the proving ground. When the responses match here, what we measured there, the vehicle can't tell the difference between the test I do on the road test simulator and the actual test on the road at the proving ground. Our corporate durability test is anywhere from 20 to 30,000 miles long. Picture yourself driving over abusive roads like what's going on behind me for thousands and thousands of miles over months to accumulate the damage that a customer does in a lifetime of use. The road test simulator can run that in six weeks and, well, not beat up a driver in the process. Our test looks very severe because it really is. The roads that we're recreating here are the roads from our proving ground, which are some of the roughest roads you're going to find anywhere. And those roads have to be rough to incorporate the duty cycles that our customers are going to put their vehicles through through a lifetime of service. This truck will endure this testing 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the next month and a half. And it's just one of many durability tests that the new Ram 1500 will have to endure to prove its design before it goes into production.